Good morning, everybody. It's Lynn, the leather bag lady. How are you all today? It is still morning. Yes, it's only 10 to 11. So it's an early start for me today. I, well, not really. Whenever I wake up is whenever I wake up. I'm not sleeping very well these days. I have no idea why, but I'm just not. So I can get to sleep okay. I just wake up and who knows why. So off to the gym I went this morning. It was busy this morning and it's the sun is trying to come out right now. Leather bag lady weather report. It's a beautiful day out there. I just need a little bit more snow to uh, remove itself from the road so that I can park my bigger car on the road and I can get my little buggy out. I haven't driven that in a couple of months. I start it and let it run in the driveway just to protect the battery and all that stuff. But I'm itching to get out and do a little bit of cruising in my little buggy. It looks like a disaster. Um, I mean, I look, I take care of them mechanically as best I can and just the aesthetics kind of. So that poor little guy needs a paint job and yeah, it needs some attention. I was supposed to do it last year, but just never had the funds. Anyway, so today's bag. Um... If you're Canadian, you will have heard of Aldo before. If you're Canadian in the 80s, you will know Aldo all day long. So here in the GTA, which we kind of sneak, you know, Hamilton's kind of in the middle. We're not necessarily in the Niagara region and we're not necessarily in the GTA or the Oakville and Burlington's would never admit for us to be in the GTA because Hamilton has a little bit of a bad reputation. Back in the day, we were predominantly a steel town, not so much anymore. We're more health sciences, even arts uh, are creeping in. Um, but yeah, it was kind of the armpit of Southern Ontario. So nobody really wants to associate or wanted to associate themselves with Hamilton. Now Hamilton's footprint is going to completely change because we have been the most affordable location for people to still work in Toronto, but that is fast fading. I think our um, average home price is approaching a million dollars in Hamilton. Crazy, crazy, crazy. So long way, you know me, story, story. A long way of telling you that if you have been in these kind of catchment areas, you would have for sure heard of Aldo, Calderon, and Le Chateau. And they're all kind of linked via this brand, Aldo. So I'm going to do the history piece on Aldo today instead of Michael Kors. We'll take a little bit of a, a break from Michael. And um, I'll show you today's bag. keep saying I'm going to stuff these, don't I? But isn't this a little piece of leather purse sculpture? It is, it's quite an iconic shape to them. I've seen this shape many times in a few different sizes and some different colors. Aldo was very trendsetting back in the day. So here's where we kind of get into uh, the first part of our little history piece. Um, let's get it right. So Aldo, does it give me when? Yeah, so Aldo was a Canadian. He was actually a person. Aldo Ben, ben Sedun. I don't know if I've got that right. He was a Canadian slash Moroccan citizen of our country. And he was also a retailer. So he started this brand out of Montreal, Quebec in 1972. And Aldo is still around today. Now they are predominantly, well, they are shoes and bags. And back in the 80s, Le Chateau was a huge, iconic, trend-setting fashion house for young Canadians. And Aldo was their house uh, shoe and bag brand. So does it give me an exact date? No, it was just that they were the shoes and bags within um, Le Chateau. Now, I've got some really cool uh, little vintage leather pieces from Le Chateau, 
which I keep saying I'm going to put them online. When I come across them, when I'm cleaning out stuff, I will put them online. I've got the cutest little pink suede mini skirt and it's a flat tummy with the flat pleats all around with a little flower on it. It's so, so cute. So anyway, back to this bag. This is, I've said it's a 90s bag. There's no foam pocket uh, uh, pouches. There's your uh, Aldo tag and um, a zipper. Now, I've said it's 90s because in my experience, the Aldo of the 80s, had a uh, multicolored triangle uh, embroidered into a fabric label. So this I'm saying is 90s for a reason. These straps are great. They, you know, they, they move. It, it, like I said, it's like a little piece of sculpture. It's absolutely gorgeous. Got a really nice gusset on it. It's gonna sit really nicely. And it is much bigger than you think. The amount of uh, grocery bags I had to stuff in here to get it poofed out enough to take some attractive pictures was pretty crazy. And then you've got your zipper top. So great little bag. Now, if any, again, those of you who are in this part of uh, Southern Ontario, um, you may or may not have remembered the Electric Circus which was a dance element of city tv so every saturday i think it was you would go or not anybody it was kind of like what was that show in uh the states oh i can't remember it now where they had the kids that would dance and um we had our own version and it was, uh, I, I walked past it a couple of times. You look through the windows and you see them all dancing up a storm on a Saturday afternoon. It was televised. Now, a lot of those kids will be wearing Le Chateau uh, clothing because it was the trendiest stuff out there. And as I said, Aldo was, I remember coming home from university one weekend and I wasn't planning. So this would have been 1988. And I wasn't planning on going out anywhere. And my girlfriend, Linda, Ladani, and I would party our faces off. And she said, we're going out. And I'm like, ah, shit, I got nothing to wear. I needed no excuse to go to Aldo and buy a beautiful black leather pair of shoes. Now I have, yeah, they're not here. They're in the shed. I have a very similar pair. Did I sell them? Actually, I think I did sell them. They were on Etsy very square toe with a chunky chain across the, the t I remember buying them. I remember, oh, I have to go buy a pair of shoes because I'm going out and the big cubed heel and the, and the heels were rubber. The soles were rubber, very comfortable. Shucks, darn it. I had to buy shoes. <laughs> now in 1998, Aldo bought Calderon. Now, if you remember, Calderon is the be is the, the retailer that I bought my first little, um, can I find it quickly for you? We shall see. Yes, I can. I've showed this many times before, but this is my first little purse that I bought. And I went through actually some of my photographs. I've got two boxes of actual old school photographs because I was looking for a picture of my dog, of Rosie Posey. And um, I've got pictures of my horse. I got pictures of our first dog with when I was married to, to the kid's dad. But I have no pictures of Rosie. So I went through and I found a couple. And I found a picture of me, probably would have been 19, was Harry born yet? Yeah, I think he was. It was 1998. And I'm wearing this in the picture. But this was purchased in 86, I think, um, with a pair of beautiful burgundy riding boots. So uh, Aldo bought out uh, Calderon and um, too bad because you, I can't say this 100%. I know some years ago I went into Aldo just for the fun of it. There's no leather in there anymore. It's all uh, man-made materials, vinyl, 
and you know what I've talked about the eco-friendly farce of that before um, yeah you can spout that eco-friendly crap to me all day long I don't believe you buying leather is way more eco-friendly than it is this mat and nat plastic bull crap cows are being uh, pigs cows lambs are a food source and there's and again this is my own personal opinion and I know it may not be popular with some people but we eat meat and these animals for the most part are being bred for food consumption so we are just using the whole animal which is very eco-friendly that animal is going to be slaughtered for meat anyway so let's use everything you produce a bag that's vinyl or pleather or vegan leather which just drives me insane you put those two bags side by side in a landfill come back in 20 years that leather bag will be very very well on its way to decomposing that mat and that bag will look just like it did when you put it in the ground and to me that is not eco-friendly that is just milking the marketplace for people who think they're doing a good thing i've had many people over the years tell me i don't spout out loud enough about how eco-friendly my uh items are not only because they are leather and they are biodegradable biodegradable but i am also repurposing and um, selling pre-loved and giving something a new life with a fresh household very eco-friendly so yeah i get on my bandwagon a little bit with that because it just it's just baloney in my book absolute baloney they're just riding the coattails of this new eco whatever whatever and uh yeah no leather quality sustainability and being able to put it back into the ground when you're done okay the buckles and the zippers and the strap and the i get that but the carcass of the bag in and of itself is going to decompose it is a natural product so i don't know maybe i'll get shit on for saying all that but so that's that. Is there anything else I've missed? So Aldo was the son of a shoe merchant and the grandson of a cobbler in their home country, Morocco. There you go. So a little bit of Canadian history there. A little bit of Canadian fashion. And yeah, what's today? Tuesday. So not doing a whole heck of a lot today. I'm getting ready for tomorrow. It's Pancake Tuesday today. And uh, tomorrow is the first day of Lent. So I don't know how far I'll get with this whole little plan of mine. But I'm going to give it a good try. And uh, yeah, we'll see how I do. Anyway, everybody have a great rest of the day. If you're having pancakes, enjoy them. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.